Welcome to MTG Alpha. I'm Anthony and I'm here with Jim and today we're playing some more 1v1 Commander. I'm playing Urza, Lord High Artificer. I plan on getting out as many artifacts as possible which all synergize pretty well and if I can play one of the orbs, I have both Winter Orb and Static Orb in the deck which will keep my opponent from untapping their permanents. And today I'm playing my Edgar Markov deck. The goal here is to cast a lot of low to the ground vampires and load them up with counters. All right, sounds good. Well, I won the die roll. I will get us started. All right, so I will play a snow covered island and pass. I'll play a bajuka bog and then pass. We'll play another snow covered island and then pay two for mine stone and pass. Night Mountain. Tap two for Racto Signet. And then pass. Let's see, play in Academy Ruins. Pay four for efficient construction. Whenever I cast an artifact spell, create a 1 1 colorless Thopter artifact creature. And then pass. Play a Cliff Top Retreat. Comes in untapped because of the mountain. Tap the mountain. The Signet. And then a Bajuka Bog for another black to cast a Gifted Aetherborn. On cast, I'll get a token from Edgar, and then I'll pass. Play a Snow-Covered Island, a 4 to cast my commander. When Urza enters, I will get a Colorless Construct. So that is currently a 2-2. Two -two. Um, I will pass the turn after that. We'll play a Mountain. I'm going to tap the Mountain tap the signet to cast terminate targeting Urza all right no responses Urza goes back to the command zone then I'll tap three to cast a rackish air on cast get a token move to combat I'll attack with the gifted aetherborn all right, no blocks. I'll take two. Okay, he'll get a counter from Rakish Air, and then I'll pass. We'll play an Ink Moth Nexus as my land for turn, and I will tap all my lands in the Mind Stone to recast Urza. When that enters, I will get a Construct. Then I will pass. I'm gonna tap the mountain to tap the signet. And then a Juka Bog for another black to cast a Drowna, Liberator of Malakir. On cast, I'll get another token. I'm gonna move to combat. Attack with the Gifted Aetherborn. Alright, uh, no blocks. So I'll take three, go to 35. I'll gain three, go to 45, get a counter, and pass the turn. All right, I will play a land for turn. I'm gonna pay five for Urza's ability, um, shuffling my library and exiling the top card until end of turn. I may play it without paying its mana cost. All right, so I will cast an Artificer's Assistant. I will pass the turn. Play a Swamp. I'm gonna tap the Mountain to tap the Signet. And my other four lands to cast an Acropolis Regent. On cast, I'll get a token. And move to combat. I'll attack with the Gifted Aetherborn and Drana. Alright, I will block Drana with the Artificer's Assistant. Okay. And then I'll take four, go to 31. I will gain four, go to 49. And then I'll get one counter from Rakish Air and four from Necropolis region, and then I'll pass. All right, I will play land for turn. I will tap all my lands and tap my artifacts using Urza's ability, um, generating 10 mana and casting Omniscience. Oh no. Um, I'll then cast Phyrexian Metamorph. On cast, I will get a Thopter. Um, I will have Phyrexian Metamorph enter the battlefield as Gifted Aetherborn. Then I will pass the turn. 
Gonna tap three for a forerunner of the Legion. Uncast, I'll get a token. When he enters, I'll search my library for a vampire. Put it on top. I will choose Captivating Vampire. Then I'm gonna move to combat. Attack with Drana, Necropolis Regent. I will block the Necropolis Regent with the Thopter token. Okay. Take two. Yep. I'll gain two counters from Necropolis region, and then one from Drana herself, and then one from Rakesh Air, and then I'll pass. We'll play a land for turn, cast Dark Steel Forge on cast. I will get a Thopter. I will pay five to activate Urza's ability, shuffling my library, exiling the top card. Um, nice. I go Synth Lattice, um, so I can cast that without paying its mana cost until end of turn. So I will go ahead and cast that on cast, get a Thopter. Right, so when that enters, all permanents are artifacts in addition to their other types. All creatures that aren't on the battlefield, spells and permanents are colorless and players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. Um, that will make my constructs uh, each a 1919. I will then pay three um, and tap the Dark Steel Forge and Michael Synth Lattice using Urza's ability, generating five mana to activate Urza's other ability, shuffling my library and exiling the top card. So we have a Karn. Um, I will cast that without paying its mana cost. Um, so now with Karn and Michael Synth Lattice on the battlefield, activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. Um, and so that would be all of your permanents. So yeah, and then that will bump the constructs up to uh, 20s. Um, and since Karn is um, an artifact on cast, I will get a Thopter. I will tick up Karn and until end of turn or until until my next turn up to one target non-creature artifact becomes an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its uh, CMC. So I'm going to choose the Omniscience until my next turn. This will be a 10-10. And then I will tap the um, efficient construction since it is an artifact um, for Withers's ability uh, to pay one tap sacrifice the mind stone to draw a card. I will cast the um, blink moth urn for free because of omniscience. On cast, I will get a thopter. Um, the constructs are now 22 power and toughness. With the Blink Moth Urn at the beginning of each player's pre-combat main phase, uh, if it is untapped, that player adds colorless for each artifact they control. So you can still get mana from that at least. Um, since you can't tap the lands for mana, but that is if it's untapped. I'm going to tap Urza, who is now an artifact. Um, to generate blue. I will also tap the Blink Moth Urn, Karn, so that's three, five, to activate Urza's ability, shuffling my library, revealing a card, and revealing a Platinum Imperion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um, yeah, I uh, will cast that. On cast, I will get a Thopter. Um, that was like my only shot at winning. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my life total can't change. Um, all right, the constructs are now 24 power toughness. And then I will pass the turn. Does Omniscience turn back into an enchantment? Um, no, not until my next turn. Oh, okay. Well, since I can't tap any of my land... 
And I definitely need blockers in this situation. I'm going to have to pass. All right, so I will untap. I don't believe I have any upkeep triggers, so I will draw Plain Island. Um, so the Omniscience is an enchantment, um, but I'm going to just tick up Karn to make it a 10 10 again. And then the constructs are now 25 power and toughness um, because the land, which is an artifact. On my pre combat main phase, um, since Blink Moth Urn is untapped, I will add colorless for each artifact I control. So I'll have 25 colorless floating, which I guess I'll use that before going to combat. So I will activate Urza's ability five times. So I'll start with the first five mana, uh, which is high tide, which I don't really need to cast. So I'm going to choose not to. The second time we activate that ability, I will get a Psymaster Thopterus on cast, get a Thopter that bumps the constructs up to 27. Third, time we activate Urza's ability so I should have 10 colorless mana floating left um, I'll I have frogify on cast get a thopter and targeting the necropolis so that'll bump the constructs up to 28 power and toughness activating Urza's ability for the fourth time getting a spell book on cast thopter um, and then another one from Psy brings the constructs up to 31 and then I'll activate Urza's ability one more time for the fifth time um, Emptying out that colorless mana that's in my mana pool Exiling a stoic rebuttal, which obviously I cannot cast so that will go to my graveyard So I will then go to combat swing with everything that doesn't have summoning sickness and also not Urza or Psy. Well, they all have indestructible. True. From Darksteel Forge. I'll swing. Nah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna attack with with these creatures. So I'll use my vampire tokens to block all of your non-thopter attackers. All right. So then five in the air we'll go through yep we'll go down to 44 lose my tokens all right and um i'll pass okay i'll untap draw a card beginning of my pre-combat main phase i'll get 11 colorless mana from your blank moth urn yep and then because of michael sent lattice i can spend mana as though it were any color oh uh, yeah so I will use three of it to cast a Captivating Vampire on cast. I'll get a token. When that token enters, Forerunner of the Legion will get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. I'm going to use two more Blink Mother and Mana to cast a Cordial Vampire on cast. I'll get another token. And I'll pass after that. Um, upkeep trigger, Omniscience will go back to being an enchantment. Draw a card. We'll cast Grand Architect on cast. Get two Thopters. That'll bump the Constructs up to 34 power and toughness. I currently have 31 colorless floating from the Blink, Blink Moth Urn. I'll use five of that to activate Urza's ability. Exiling a Narset. Um, I will cast that, uncast, get two Thopters. I will activate Urza's ability again, going down to 21 colorless. Exiling an Inventor's Fair. I will play that as my land for turn. I will pay four to sacrifice it, searching my library for an artifact and putting it into my hand. I will reveal a Biden of Thassa, um, 
put that in my hand, but I will cast it on cast, get two more Thopters. That'll bump the constructs up to 37. Uh, I will use five more mana um, out of the 17 floating to activate Urza's ability. It is a land, so that'll go into the graveyard. I will do it again. Going down to seven colorless in my mana pool. It is a Tail's End, can't cast, goes into the graveyard. I will do it one more time. Activating Urza's ability, shuffling my library. Exiling an Arkham Dagson. Um, on cast, get two more Thopters. Bumping the constructs up to 40 power and toughness. I will minus Narset. Looking at the top four cards of my library, I may reveal a non-creature, non-land from among them, put it in my hand. I will reveal an Immortal Sun. And putting the rest on the bottom of my library, um, I will cast the Immortal Sun, get two more Thopters, and then I will move to combat. I will attack with the nine Thopters, um, the Gifted Aetherborn, Platinum Imperion, and the two Constructs, which are uh, 43 power and toughness. Okay, I'll block a Construct with the Gifted Aetherborn, another Construct with the Forerunner of the Legion, Platinum Imperion with my Rakish Air, the Gifted Aetherborn with my Acropolis Regent, and one of the Thopters with Drana. Right, so um, so then eight Thopters end up dealing combat damage. You'll take 16. Um, and then I will draw eight cards because uh, Biden of Thassa, whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I may draw a card. Cordial Vampire will put a counter on each of my creatures for each creature that died this turn. Right, and I will... On my second main, play a soul ring, because why not? Get two Thopters, play a Thron Dynamo, get two more Thopters. I will tap the Blink Moth Urn, so that way I'm not giving away all that free mana. Um, and then the three islands and one more for five, activating Urza's ability. Shuffle my library, reveal the top card, exiling the top card, um, which is an Ornithopter. I will keep that in my hand for now. Um, I will then pass the turn. Draw a card, go to my main phase. All right, um, on your main phase, I'm going to pay two to tap and activate Biden of Thassa. Uh, creatures my opponents control attack this turn of Fable. Okay. Looks like I'm going to combat. Attacking with everything. No blocks. Okay. No damage. <laughs> and I'll pass after that. Alright. Untap, upkeep. Um, I will draw a card for turn and draw a card off of Immortal Sun. Uh, I will just go skip through my main phase and go straight into combat and attack with everything. Man, that's game. All right, good game. So that got a little crazy. Yeah, definitely a long game. Yeah. Now I'm trying to see if you could have killed me with the Ink Moth Nexus any sooner, but I don't think so. Maybe a little sooner. Yeah, right. Um, I mean... Let's see, I could have gotten some infect damage in, and then, I mean, the Immortal Sun would have definitely given it plus one, but it still would have taken a few turns. Probably would have took just about as long as it did anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, that just, what was it? Urza's ability that just had me, like, top deck Michael Synth Lattice, and then, like, immediately after Karn. Yeah, I think this game was a prime example of Urza being the complete package. Yeah, 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 definitely. With like, he just 
yeah like like you said like with all those abilities on there like you get the construct then you can start tapping your artifacts you can tap the construct right away for blue mana and then just using that blue mana to then it, yeah it definitely is like a like a tiered package of just craziness obviously platinum imperion just you know why not through it in the deck because it's just for me it's just like it's like one of my favorite artifacts um yeah he's great um before platinum imperion hit the board that was my only out was damage and then once he was on the field i knew there was really no going back yeah yeah with everything being indestructible my life total not being able to change just like i can just throw all my creatures at you um the only thing that's a little you know awkward is having these big beefy creatures on the board and with all these blockers not being able to just run through and, and deal direct damage unless of course i draw into something like a cyclonic rift which my only way of doing that really is top decking or drawing cards yeah i think if this deck needs anything it's evasion yeah like um no i, I definitely agree so i mean i thought about throwing a chroma's memorial in here I wasn't really sure if it was worth it, but yeah, I mean, just having those constructs, like, you know, I could have had multiple copies of the constructs and had like power toughness 50, you know, with flying first strike, like trample all that. Yeah, that would have definitely been enough to kind of speed up the game a little bit more. All right, well, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. We'll be releasing new videos every week. We have tons of videos coming out, um, EDH gameplay, doing some box openings on the channel. Once we get to enough subscribers, I'll start giving away packs uh, along with these box openings. Um, yeah, and uh, we really do enjoy making these videos, so any, any support at all helps keep the channel moving. Um, we have some links in the description if you want to, uh, you know, join our Discord, you know, talk with us, uh, you know, give us your uh, opinion on, on, you know, what you want to see in the channel maybe in the future. And uh, yeah, so until then, we'll see you next time.